Okay, we need to get two kills with enemies detected, stunned, blinded by score streaks equipment or field upgrades and multiplayer. Ow, 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 ow. Oh boy. There's one. Nope. Yo, I'm trying to reload. You stop. <laughs> I probably could have gotten it right there, but I just decided not to. <laughs> Is that it? Nope. I didn't get it because they destroyed my field mic. All right, so we finally get it. We should finally get it. Let's get it. Is that it? Tell me that's it. Just tell me that's it. Let's it go. Woo! Finally, the dark matter grind is over. Oh my god! When Dark Matter Camo gives you powers. Yo, what's up guys? Foxy coming to you guys today with a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. In today's video, we have finally unlocked Dark Matter Camo in Black Ops Cold War. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, man. So today on stream, I just decided to load up Cold War as we always do. We were going to play some zombies and I decided to just play some multiplayer just for a little bit. So when I did that, I went to go check my assault rifle camos like I normally do because they were bugged. And when I went to go check them, I had diamond on them. Now, if you guys remember in the last video, I was talking about how my diamond camo was glitched on my assault rifles. Well, apparently at four in the morning, Treyarch pushed out a patch update that unlocked diamond camos for those that have gotten them. Apparently some people are still having an issue, but mine were unlocked and I'm pretty sure I talked to Dismo and his are unlocked as well. So we unlocked dark matter camo on stream as you guys saw at the beginning of this video. Don't mind leaving an early like on today's video. Subscribe, turn on notifications for dark matter camo. Go follow me on my Twitch. That's down in the description below. We'll be streaming tonight around eight o'clock PM Eastern time. We'll be grinding more plague diamond camos. We should be getting plague diamond on my pistols tonight because we are on the road to dark Aether as well which is awesome and without further ado let's go bros now let me be honest with you guys for a second the camo in the main menu does not do justice to the in-game camo when you go in game the camo looks so much better than this and i'm going to show you guys how much better it looks okay so i've come to find out that the camo looks completely different on every single map in this game that's kind of cool if you ask me a lot of people are saying how bad it looks and things like that but i truly don't feel that way i think this camo looks awesome however the one problem i have with it is that i wish it covered more of the gun and i've been saying that for a while though it should be like that in every single game, to be honest. I don't know why I don't have a third streak on. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. What do you guys like more, Dark Aether or Dark Matter? Personally, I do like Dark Aether more, but I think that it's really cool how there's two camos that we can grind for this year. Instead of where BO4, we only had one. Obviously, this past year with Modern Warfare, we had two, but Obsidian didn't come until around like July or so. And right off the rip, we already have two camos that we can use. And I'm pretty sure that we'll, that we'll be able to use both of these in Warzone. And I, what? That's the biggest load of monkey turds that I've ever seen. Let me know down in the comments. Would you guys like me to do a video telling you guys how to unlock it faster? Or how, or like whatever tips I can give you guys to unlock Dark Matter Camo faster? If you guys would like a video like that, let me know down in the comments. I am more than willing to definitely do a video like that for you guys. Like, do you guys see how it turns blue at times as well? I think that's so dope, dude. I think that's insane. And I like Dark Aether. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that this camo is better than Dark Aether. I'd much rather have this camo over Damascus. It, it just, it looks way better than the, than the, I can't fucking dark. Uh, speak! Use words! In the dark, it's not as great. Like, it doesn't look all that awesome. It doesn't shine bright in the dark and things like that. From a playing standpoint, that kind of gives me a better advantage because it won't give my position away. And I kind of like that. Dude, the 74 you rips, dude. So this map kind of sucks for free for all because the spawns are shit. But I wanted to show you guys the camo and this guy's just going to kill me right away! suppressor on the 74u is nasty dog we were actually moving around in this free for all game actually so ah, i got shot from behind that kind of stuff we went on nuketown and we were by greenhouse and the camo kind of turned like a tealish green it was super dope it was it was awesome it, it blended in with the purple it was really really nice now like i said before i didn't know that this was actually going to be a thing today i had a completely different video plan for today just like i told you guys yesterday we were going to talk about reverse boosting and things like that 
but I decided to do a video on Dark Matter because we finally have it unlocked. And now we can go for Dark Aether. And now I don't have to have OCD about dark, my Dark Matter not being unlocked or whatever. So now we can also start trying to play Free For All a little bit more because I was going to try and start playing that, but... I needed I needed the camo first, honestly. Oh yeah, this is it on the shotgun, which uh, it's a little underwhelming on some of the weapons. I'm not gonna lie. That's the biggest thing. I wish it covered more of the gun on some guns, like the Hair 77. I wish it covered more of the gun on some of the SMGs too. I couldn't destroy that with just X. That was weird. A lot of people say it looks like Haptic from BO3. Stop lagging all over the place! There's some times where it does look like Haptic from BO3, but then there's other times where it definitely doesn't. Yeah, this game's laggy as hell. I'm leaving. And it's gone. Because of the snow on this map, the white really reflects off this camo, and it looks so awesome, in my opinion. I'm curious to see if I'm going to run into anyone else who has Dark Matter camo now. Normally, when you, st when you start getting the camos and things like that, you start running into people who have those camos as well. I'm curious if the skill-based matchmaking will pick up on that. Speaking of skill-based matchmaking, if you guys didn't check out yesterday's video, make sure you guys go do that. We talked about skill-based matchmaking. Did really well at first, and then all of a sudden, I think YouTube killed my video. <laughs> so, yeah. I talked about skill-based matchmaking because a lot of people are asking me how I feel about it and how I feel about the reverse boosters and things like that. And so I just gave my opinion on that yesterday. Oh, also, we have the dual pistols real quick. Snake shots or magnums or whatever you want to call them. And we have those dark, with Dark Matter camo on it too, which is sweet. Ooh. And he spawned behind me? What? And then sometimes it turns blue as well. I just think it's a dope camo. I like it way better than Damascus. Everyone that's saying, oh, it looks like sh You guys gotta see it for yourself in game. I don't even know. I'm, I mean, not to sound like a PC asshole. But I don't even know if console does justice for this camo, to be honest. Do I think they should fix it a little bit? Yeah, I do. However, I don't think it's a bad camo. And it's definitely, I, to be honest, I like it a lot. We're going to do one more game. And I'm going to show you guys the AUG. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Oh, God, that was terrible. Please stop shooting me. Please stop shooting me. Oh, my. Burrito just got destroyed. Now, do I think that Dark Aether looks better? Uh, kind of, sort of. I think that they need to make this camo look a little bit more galaxy-ish. You know, put a little bit more uh, particles and things like that in the camo. But I love the reflection type deal of this camo. And I really, really enjoy the fact that it's purple and blue and it changes colors. And it does kind of change colors depending on where you are on the map and what map you're on. I look like I headshot him, but I guess not. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, God, he's using FFAR. Okay, look, I need to not get killed by an FFAR. It's the worst assault rifle in the game. If you guys remember in Black Ops 4, we could only grind for one gold camo and one diamond camo and one dark matter camo. And you know, that was cool for multiplayer, but they didn't change it up at all for zombies. And I thought that was a real shame. This year, I'm super glad that we got two camos that we can grind for. And you can use either one. And on top of that, you'll be able to use both of these camos in Warzone, which I think is really cool too. Because if you guys don't know, on the 16th, the Warzone integration into Cold War is going down. It's going down! Inverted. It's gonna be super cool and then you'll see a bunch of people running around with dark matter and dark aether and all that crap Can you not armor up next to me? Thanks. You guys know how I haven't really dug the 74U at all during this game's life cycle. I'm be real I've been digging it lately, bro. It's in it's nuts. It's nasty, especially with the suppressor on it. Oh Stop shooting me Oh my god, stop being double teaming me! We're gonna have a Dark Matter Rage Taj coming out soon. I'm gonna put all my favorite and funny clips together of me trying to unlock camos and things like that. I'm just gonna put it into one big Rage Taj. So if you guys do wanna see that, let me know down in the comments as well. I'm gonna do it anyways, but I figured I would ask if you guys are interested in it. I would assume that you are because, you know, the rages and things like that are funny. And this was just such a grind, bro. Oh, zombies is so much more chill to do than this freaking camo, dude. The zombie camos, yeah, it's tedious, but it's not as difficult, man. It's nowhere near as difficult. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did it and you all have Dark Matter as well or Dark Aether, let me know down in the comments. If you guys don't mind leaving a like for the Dark Matter grind, it'd be greatly appreciated. We'll have the Rage Times come out. We'll probably talk about reverse boosting and stuff like that in tomorrow's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.